Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from definite integrals uh, under the topic differentiation under the integral sign, right? So here uh, we'll solve this integral uh, which is from 0 to infinity and 1 minus e raised to minus 2x divided by x times e raised to x, right? So in this lecture, uh, we'll learn uh, how to find the value of uh, this integral uh, using the concept of differentiation under the integral sign, uh, which is also known as the Leibniz integral rule, right? So let us start. So now see, uh, here uh, we have to find the value of this integral, right? So what we do uh, when we apply uh, the uh, concept of differentiation under the integral sign, uh, we introduce a parameter uh, in the given integral, right? So here, uh, what we will do, we'll take an integral, uh, which is a function of some parameter a, and we can write i of a as uh, uh, 0 to infinity 1 minus e raised to minus a x divided by x times e raised to x dx right so what we have done here uh, we have introduced a new parameter or variable a and uh, we have written this integral uh, as a function of a right so we'll um, try to evaluate this integral and when we uh, come to the uh, final step uh, we take the value of a as 2 to get the value of this given integral right so here uh, we have introduced this parameter a and we have made this integral uh, as a function of this parameter a right and uh, we'll uh, differentiate this integral uh, with respect to a keeping the uh, variable x as constant right so we'll partially differentiate this integral uh, with respect to a so let us differentiate i with respect to a so we have del of del a of i of a and here we write del of del a and the integral is 0 to infinity 1 minus e raised to minus a x divided by x times e raised to x dx right now see uh, we can take this uh, operator that is del by del a inside the integral sign right so we can now write 0 to infinity and we can take this operator at del by del a inside the integral uh, sign so we have 1 minus e raised to minus ax and uh, here we have dx divided by x e raised to x right so when we differentiate this integrand uh, then we differentiate it with respect to a partially keeping x as constant right so now we have 0 to infinity the derivative of a is 0 being a constant and here we have the derivative of e raised to minus ax as e raised to minus ax and here uh, when we uh, apply the chain rule then here we have simply uh, minus x right because the derivative of minus ax with respect to a is minus x and here we have dx and this is x uh, e raised to x right now see this x and this x get cancelled so we have now minus minus becomes plus so we have 0 to infinity and here we have e raised to ax divided by e raised to x dx which is 0 to infinity e raised to ax minus x uh, dx right so we can now write it as zeros to infinity then here uh, we have minus sign and here also we have minus sign right so we have e raised to minus x and we can take minus x common so here we have a plus one right so now uh, we have this integral uh, to evaluate
So now we have del by del A of I of A as this integral, right? That is 0 to infinity and here we have e raised to minus x and 1 plus a, right? Okay, so now see, uh, we know that the integral of e raised to uh, mx dx is equal to 1 over m e raised to mx, right? So here m is uh, minus 1 plus a, so we have the integral as minus 1 over 1 plus a, and we have e raised to minus x 1 plus a and the limits of integration are from 0 to infinity right so now we have minus 1 over 1 plus a and substituting the limits here we have e raised to uh, minus infinity because uh, we'll take x is equal to infinity over here so we have minus e raised to minus infinity, then we have e raised to a minus zero, right? And we know that e raised to minus infinity is one over e raised to infinity. And this is a very large number. So the value is zero, right? Because e raised to infinity is infinity. So one over uh, infinity is zero, right? Okay, and e raised to uh, 0 is 1, right? So now uh, we can write uh, this expression that is del of del A of I A is equal to minus 1 over 1 plus A and here we have 0 and here we have 1, right? So this is minus minus plus, so we have 1 over 1 plus A, right? So now viewers, here we see that we have a differential equation, right? So we have this differential equation. So integrating both sides, so we can write it as del of uh, I A is equal to del A over 1 plus A and now integrating both sides, right? So this is a differential equation uh, because whenever we apply uh, the concept of differentiation under the integral sign uh, we uh, introduce a parameter and then we differentiate the integral with respect to that parameter and then finally we get a differential equation as we have uh, obtained here right so now uh, we can integrate both sides with respect to uh, a so here we have simply i of a and here the integral of dx over 1 plus x is a log of 1 plus x, right? So here we have log of 1 plus a and c is the constant of integration, right? So now our aim is to find the value of a, right? So for this, uh, what we do, uh, we uh, uh, use the uh, initial value uh, conditions, right? So what we will do, let us take a is equal to 0 in this integral, right? So when we take a is equal to 0, then i of 0 is equal to 0 to infinity, 1 minus e raised to 0, x e raised to x dx. Because when a is 0, then we get e raised to 0. And e raised to 0 is 1 so we have 1 minus 1 x e raised to x dx so this integral is 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0 right so we get the condition that when a is 0 then i of 0 is 0 right so applying this condition uh, to this equation we have i of 0 log of 1 plus 0 plus c so i of 0 is 0 and the log of 1 is 0 because the log of 1 is equal to 0 and here we have c so this implies that c is equal to 0 right so now we have obtained c is equal to 0 right so taking c is equal to 0 in this equation we obtain i of a is equal to log of 1 plus a right 
and always remember that uh, this 1 plus a uh, should be greater than 0 right so a should be greater than minus 1 right so here uh, when we have assumed this uh, uh, parameter in this integral uh, then the condition which is to be imposed uh, on a should be a greater than minus 1 right so viewers uh, the value of this integral because i of a is equal to this integral so we have 0 to infinity 1 minus e raised to minus a x x e raised to x dx is equal to the natural log of 1 plus a where the condition is a is greater than minus 1 right so now uh, we have to find the value of this integral right and we see that here we have e raised to minus 2x so if we take a is equal to 2 and uh, in this uh, integral then we get this one right so we have 0 to infinity 1 minus e raised to minus 2x x e raised to x dx that is equal to log of 1 plus 2 that is log of 3 right so the value of this integral is equal to the natural log of 3 right now suppose we have to find the value of this integral right so what we will do I uh, will compare this integral with this one right so the value of uh, a is equal to a uh, 1 over 2 right because this is e raised to minus x over 2 this is e raised to uh, minus x so if we uh, compare this term with this one then a is 1 over uh, 2 right so the value of this integral can be calculated directly with the help of this result so a is half so the value of this integral is 1 plus half that is the log of uh, 3 over 2 right now similarly if we wish to find out the value of this integral then we can compare this integral with this one and if we uh, see uh, here we have e raised to minus x and here we have e raised to minus ax so if we compare this term with this one then the value of a is equal to 1 right so the direct value of this integral is log of 1 plus 1 and that is equal to log of 2 right so viewers this is how uh, by making use of the concept of differentiation under the integral sign uh, we can evaluate these kind of integrals